Right, what we're going to do now is remove the main jet and the pilot jet. Um, pilot jet's a little bit awkward, it's right at the front, you'll see in a moment, but we'll whip these both out now. Now we remove the main jet, we can just blow this out of an airline. I think it's clear, but we'll just give it a blow for a just slightly, it might just fuel in there maybe. That is nice and clear. We're going to change this fibre washer to a doughty washer. Doughty washer has a rubber seal on the inside of a metal washer. The fibre washer is fine when they're new, and maybe a new one might help, but on this carburetor, when this was in place, I noticed when we put fuel in the tank, we was getting a leak. We pulled it up tight, the whole fitting, and we're still getting a drip. Now, you've got to be careful. You don't want to mess about too much this height. It has to be correct. But what I've found works really well. If you find you've got a persistent leak, and the, the, the trouble is that people will over tighten this and you're going to strip that thread out in that carburetor. Do away that fibre washer and put your doughty washer in. And that rubber seal will stop that fuel from coming through. Just make sure it goes on properly. Actually, I'm just going to wet that just a little bit around there and put it on there just. As I put it on, just spin it round. And you can see you've got a nice rubber lip seal on there. We've put that back in place and that won't leak. Just make sure that your carb needle, your slide needle, is in the top of the emulsion tube. And screw up. Got a new doughty washer on there. We won't over tighten that, it shouldn't need to be over tight. Now we've got the main jet assembly back in place. We're just going to take out the pilot jet. See here, this assembly. This outer nut comes off, and underneath there is uh, your main, the actual jet itself. Right, now we've got to take out the jet itself, so it's easy to use a, a torque drive out of a little socket set which has got a screwdriver straight blade, small ring spanner, hold it up and just crack that off. It won't be tight, not really, just pinched because it's brass, it shouldn't be over tightened. And as you can see now we're unscrewing, there is a fibre washer which you don't want to lose. Just keep your finger on the bottom of your screwdriver bit, it's easier. Now unscrew it. And then the assembly comes out. We're just checking the pilot jet. Now this is quite a small jet. This is the one that will block most easily. And you'll find when you try and start a bike, your tickle of the carburetor will give it lots of choke and it'll fire up. And as soon as you take it off choke, or it's starting to, after tickling it, it's running clean it won't pick up, you'll find that your revs they won't pick up and you'll probably adjust your pilot jet itself, the adjuster side of it, and you won't get any response because this is this controls your lower rev range. Um, this controls it until it picks up on the main slide. So when you open up the throttle, lift the slide, the needle comes up, then you start to draw fuel into the venturi and that's on your main, your main needle. But your slow running is all through this little jet, it's all metered through here. It's a very tiny bore, so we make sure it is clear. Actually, I can't see out of this at the moment. So we use an airline and we just blow it out. Yeah, we can see daylight through now, but it is tiny. Put a finger tight and we just nip that with a spanner.
So we've blown out the pilot jet and also the bottomed up. I've blown that out as well. Just make sure there's nothing collected in the bottom. 